Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States and a critical source of water for millions of people in the southwestern U.S., is facing an unprecedented water crisis. As of April 2023, the lake is at just 34% of its full capacity, with a water level of around 1,058 feet above sea level. This is the lowest level the lake has been at, since it was filled in the 1930s. The decline in water levels in Lake Mead is due to a combination of factors, including a long-term drought that has plagued the region for over 20 years and overuse of the Colorado River system, which supplies water to the lake. The Colorado River system as a whole is facing a long-term structural deficit, with more water being taken out of the river than is being replenished. However, recent weather events have provided some temporary relief to the water crisis in the region. The western U.S. has experienced a huge snowfall and rainfall this year, which could help to alleviate the water crisis. Snowpack in the Colorado River Basin is currently at 135% of its average for this time of year with some areas reporting up to 200% of their average snowpack levels. This snowpack will eventually melt and flow into the Colorado River, providing a crucial source of water for the region. To refill Lake Mead to its full capacity of 1,229 feet above sea level, the lake would need to receive an additional 9.5 million acre-feet of water. This is equivalent to the amount of water that could supply nearly 20 million households for a year. Based on the current rate of inflow into Lake Mead, it would take dozens of consecutive years of above-average snow and rainfall to refill the lake. In fact, if the Colorado River Basin received the same amount of snow and rainfall as it did in 2023 every year for the next five years, it would only be enough to raise Lake Mead's water level only by about 20 feet. So to fill the reservoir all the way up, we would need 45 consecutive water years like the current one. One potential solution to the water crisis in the region is desalination, the process of removing salt and other minerals from seawater or brackish water to make it drinkable. Currently, desalination plants are expensive to operate and require a significant amount of energy, but advances in technology and the decreasing cost of renewable energy sources could make desalination a more viable option in the future. While the federal government has been working to improve the efficiency of the Colorado River system and to reduce water usage, this is sadly not enough. More work is needed to ensure the long-term sustainability of water resources in the region, including conservation measures, changes to agricultural practices, and reductions in water use by cities and other users in the region.